Hey everybody, it's the Wyoming Stone Ranger headed out on another adventure. It's been an interesting week. About six days ago, tested positive for COVID, so did Mrs. Ranger. So we've been down for a minute, had to change our Thanksgiving week plans, which is a total bummer. We were gonna spend it with family in St. Louis. So what do you do when you're in Wyoming and you're a little bummed out you go out and you go rock hunting. That's right. Out there rock hunting, there will be nobody out there that I can spread germs with. Probably won't even see another soul. It's one of the things I love about Wyoming. And hey, do you see those red buttes right over there? Do you remember the movie John Wayne and the Hellfighters? Well, a lot of those scenes, especially the fire scenes, the oil well fires, were filmed right over there at Red Butte. Pretty cool. Well, I still sound a little growly, but I'm doing pretty good. I'm probably about 90% today. 90% good, and uh, just headed out to do a little rock hunting. Can't wait to get there. I think I'm just gonna go out to someplace close, looking for the banded iron to a spot that I haven't been to in over a year, and uh, see what we can find, so. Here we go, Rock Rangers, saddle up with me, come along. We're going rock hunting! Had a little change of plans. When I got to the higher elevations where I wanted to go, there was snow covering the ground about two inches. So I came back to an old reliable place. It's beautiful out here this morning. There's not a lick of wind. The geese are flying and honking in the sky. And everything is damp. Looks like it snowed or rained a little bit. Which means the rocks are going to be easy to find when they're wet. You know how they look. Almost look like they've been polished. All right, here we go. I just walked up the first small hill here. And I can tell that my lungs have been affected. A little bit harder to breathe. Not a whole ton of banded iron on this first hill. Looks like for the most part, gonna have to get up into the higher elevations. Tons of rocks though. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Right over here. See that guy hiding in there? Let's take a look at it. Oh, heck yeah. That chunk is definitely worth a bucket. Lots of nice banding. It's smooth. There's no jagged edges. That's a great piece to start the day with. All right. There's a drop in the bucket right there. We're gonna keep heading out and eventually we'll be up on top of those hills over there. Here's a rock hunting tip for the day. Don't be so focused on the exact rock that you're looking for that you miss some of the other beauties out here. For instance, here's a chunk. You see that green right in the middle of the screen? That's a little chunk of aventurine. Got plenty of this stuff at home, but it sure is always fun to see and find. Here's another nice chunk of aventurine I'll show you. Some good color in that rock. Beautiful green going on. And there's a little baby piece right next to it. So, so many times I talk about not looking straight at the ground, but looking out away from you and seeing what stands out. And even in this picture, you can see there's a white rock in front of me. Pretty good size. It's really standing out. Let's get a closer look and see what that thing is. Pretty 
Pretty interesting. Mostly quartz looks like. Maybe a little feldspar in the edges there. Always worth taking a look at anything that stands out. Just moving about 50 yards farther, starting to see some banded iron. There's a piece right there. We'll keep moving this way. And here comes a couple of more. There's one that's got real maroon color to it. And here's the other one with the lots of mustard jasper going on with that one. We're just getting started here. Well, right down here next to the bucket is this chunk that might be bucket worthy. Let's check it out. Got great color. Lots of striping and banding. It's smooth, it's a great pocket size. Yeah, let's drop that baby in the bucket. Here's a piece right down here that looks pretty good. From the surface anyway, it's got great color. Looks to be real smooth. The way I like them, gonna have to dig her out. Oh, it's not as big as I thought it might be, but, well, let's go. <clears throat> Can you see the banding through the dirt? That's a good little chunk. I love it. Bucket bomb. There's a pretty good chunk with a lot of the mustard color in it. Take a look at that here in a second. Look at this one. Nice size, well-rounded, good color. Yeah, that's definitely a keeper right there. Let's take out the mustard one a little closer. Interesting striations. Flip her over. Oh, look at the side there. What do you think? Would you guys keep that one? Let's see. Yes, let's put it in the bucket. Well, there's a few good pieces right here. That guy, he's got some red and some gray and some of the orange and mustard in there that's a nice piece that one's going in the bucket how about this one here would you guys pick that one up oh yeah it's going in there's a little guy sticking out right there. Let's see what that one is. Yeah, that one's kind of plain. Let's keep looking right here. How about that guy? Oh yeah. That little beauty was just sticking out right on the edge like that. That's a good one. In the bucket it goes. Starting to get a few in the bottom. I love rock hunting in Wyoming! Well, here's a nice mustard color piece. 
Well, this area seems to have a lot more of the the mustard, what I call mustard color. Maybe it's honey color. Hey, maybe it's honey mustard. Sorry. Ooh, look at that piece down there. Man, that one's got good color. A little rough on the corner right there. I like the smooth. But I think the color in that rock outweighs the lack of it being smooth in one spot. So I'm going to put it in the bucket. Here's a beautiful chunk right here. Look at that. You know what that is? That's a heart rock. When you're out there rock hunting and you've got somebody at home that's okay with you going rock hunting, make sure you take them home a heart rock and let them know you love them. Mrs. Stone Ranger, this one's for you. Right on, look at this little gem right here. Great, super contrasting color. A little jaggedy on the back side, but man, it's such a beautiful color contrast. I think I'm going to have to take it. The bucket's way back over there. So it's going to be a pocket rock for a little bit. I just love it when you see a rock sticking out of the mud and you pull it out and it looks like that. Could just see the top of it. That's a perfect pocket piece. Can't wait to get the rest of that mud off of it and see what it looks like all cleaned up. She's a beauty. I've set the bucket down and just kind of walking around and not taking too much video, picking up a few rocks because Sometimes you got to not worry about the video and just go rock hunting, but I have to show you this one It's banded on or bookends on both ends with the red with the Jasper in the middle man. That's a beautiful rock Look at that This one just very well might make the good shelf. Oh my goodness Beautiful, beautiful color. Let's see what the other side looks like. Looks a lot like mud. Some color going through. Man, I think that is the piece of the day right there. Very excited about that one. Golly. Golly. Sound like Gomer, don't I? That's a nice piece right there. Here is a color shot right here. Look at that. Wow. That could end up being the rock of the day. And the last one was wonderful. But look at the amazing colors in this piece. I can't even count the different colors. That is gorgeous. And you look long enough, hard enough, and you just end up with a couple of pieces that are out of this world. How beautiful it is. Here's a look down inside the bucket once we got back to the truck. I'll show you some of the finds of the day. There's a nice piece of banded iron or Genesis stone. That one's got a lot of great red color to it. And another great example right there. 
These two are the finds of the day, I think. Lots of beautiful color jasper there. Reds and the mustard. And then there's that piece. It's so many colors, multiple colors, unbelievable. On the way back, I found this. That almost, I would call a thunder egg. The nodule with the agate inside. And then there's another piece of jasper right there. I can't wait to clean that up and see uh, what it looks like. That's going to be a cutter right there. I'm the Wyoming Stone Ranger. I'd like to thank you all for coming along with me. Hope you have a great and wonderful Thanksgiving. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like it, and we'll keep them coming. I can't wait until we saddle up and we ride again in the Great Woolies of Wyoming. We'll see you then. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails, everybody.